Hi, I'm Emily and today I'm going to take you through how to create a bionic hand. Before we get started, I thought it would be a good idea to give a quick introduction into what bionics actually is. Bionics is a type of robotics, which is a science that combines aspects of engineering and computer science. The aim of most robotics research is to create intelligent machines that can help keep humans safe and also help us to complete tasks. Some examples of robots that have been designed with this in mind include robot vacuum cleaners, like this one. Other examples of robots include cars that can park and even in some cases drive themselves and there are also robots that can do complicated surgery. So that's robotics so now let's have a look at bionics. In medicine the word bionics relates to using a robotic machine to either replace or add to a body part or organ usually when the part in question has been damaged or doesn't function correctly. The bionic part is linked to a person's body and can either very closely copy or even sometimes improve upon the function of the original part. Now let's meet some members who have their own bionic body parts. This is Trefoil Guild member and former brown owl Jan. In 2008 she was diagnosed with heart failure and was told that she wouldn't live for more than about two years. However, Surgeons were able to exchange her damaged heart valve with an artificial one and they also fitted a pacemaker. A pacemaker is a device that's about the same size as a matchbox and contains a tiny electrical circuit and sensors to know how fast Jan's heart needs to beat and know whether or not it's beating correctly. The pacemaker is attached to the outside of her heart and if it senses any errors it sends electrical pulses through the heart tissue to help it beat steadily. Since having her bionic parts fitted, Jan has become much more active and she no longer relies on the use of her wheelchair for getting around. Now, let's meet Erica. Hey there, I'm Erica and I've been in girl guiding for seven years. I have a condition called type 1 diabetes. This means my body, to be precise, my pancreas, doesn't produce insulin anymore. Insulin is a key chemical that helps to control blood sugar levels. Blood sugar levels are very important to our body function as they make sure our cells can produce the energy they need to work properly. These levels vary throughout the day and often increase quickly when we eat food that contains carbohydrates, which is most things. My body breaks down carbohydrates and turns them into sugar, but without insulin, the sugars can't get to the organs that need it. Because of my type one diabetes, I need to keep a close eye on my blood sugar levels as too high and too low can both be very dangerous. I used to manage my condition with finger prick tests about 10 times a day and five to seven insulin injections every day. Now I have two bionic machines that help me maintain my blood sugars more easily. The first part is a sensor attached to my arm and this monitors my blood sugar every five minutes without meaning to do anything. It sends data to my phone so I can get real time graphs of what's happening. The second part is my pump, which is connected just under the skin near my stomach. The pump contains insulin, which allows me to give myself a dose when needed without another injection. These bionic machines help me with some of the thinking and functions that my pancreas doesn't do for me. Since getting these, life has been easier because I have more freedom, more independence when it comes to handling my diabetes, and it's a lot less hassle. Thanks, Erica. So, now we've seen just a few examples of bionic body parts. There are many other types, and they vary in function and size dramatically. It's now time to make our own bionic hand. Remember, you can pause the video at any point so you have time to complete each of the instructions, or you can rewind it to watch an instruction again. You will need a card. Any card will work, but a slightly stiff card will work the best. You will also need scissors, a pen, string, paper straws and sticky tape. 
First, you need to cut three pieces of string to around 40 centimeters. If you don't have a tape measure, this will be about the same length as your leader's middle finger to elbow. Draw around your hand, keeping your fingers together in pairs. Cut out your hand shape, keeping slightly outside the line you just drew. But a top tip, make sure you cut right to the bottom in the gaps between the fingers. Now you need to mark where your knuckles are. You should mark three on each finger and two on the thumb. You now need to bend along the lines you just drew, folding each finger towards the palm of your hand and then unfolding at each line. Next, cut a piece of straw for each section of finger. Make sure the piece you cut is smaller than the section, otherwise your bionic hand won't work properly. You also need to cut a slightly longer piece of straw to attach to the palm of the hand. Now you need to stick each of the pieces to the hand using sticky tape. Another top tip, you might find you need to cut the tape in half so that it isn't as wide and you also might find it easier to stick each piece of straw as you cut it to make sure that it's in the right place. Next you're going to attach a piece of string to the top of one finger using tape, then thread the string through the pieces of straw on that finger into the middle of the hand and through the piece on the palm. Repeat this for the other two fingers. You might find it easier to thread the string if you bend the joints backwards. And you also might find it useful to use something like a kebab stick to help push the string through the straws. Finally, you may also find it easier to start threading from the bottom of the finger and then attach it at the top at the end. Once you've finished threading, tie the strings together and your bionic hand is ready to use. The strings on your bionic hand act like cables. Imagine you're a computer controlling these and telling the hand when to grip and release. Your leader will now play a quick game with you to help you see how well you can use your bionic hands.